Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to recommit the Cherokee Nation to one of our most important missions, and that is early childhood education for the Cherokee people. What we're announcing today more specifically is legislation that I've been working with the deputy chief on, the rest of the administration, members of our council, that will make a major historic investment into early childhood education. One thing that it does for sure is it sets us on a path to on a biennial basis review all that we do in early childhood education, child care, to make sure we're doing all we can to support the Cherokee people when it comes to, again, that important mission. She's approached this job not just as a job, but as someone would approach a calling. Uh, to the namesake of our legislation, early childhood education, and specifically our treasured Head Start program is a calling to which she has committed her professional life and you can see the fruits of her labor in thousands of families across this reservation who have benefited from Head Start. So that's why I'm pleased to announce that this legislation proposed to the council is the Verna Thompson Early Childhood Education Act of 2021. Oh and she's right here, by the way. Thank you. All right. You know, when Deputy Chief Warner and I took office, one of the areas we looked at is what we could do more in the area of early childhood education. And with so much of our first two years in office, there was a, just a great deal to, to uh, deal with across the nation. So early childhood education has been foremost in our minds, but the opportunity that we have with some federal funding really accelerated plans that we'd had for some time in our term. So here we are two years in uh, announcing a $40 million investment uh, to replace so many of our Head Start facilities and really assess what we do across the board in early childhood education. This is related to a mix of funding. So some of it will be some uh, American Rescue Plan Act funds. There'll be other funding sources. One of the strategies we will uh, employ in developing these facilities is could we co-locate different programs together? I mean, for example, in Kenwood, we're building a, a, a big community center that's going to include a Head Start component, a wellness center, and some other community facility space. Uh, perhaps there's some other funding sources we can pull together to construct those kind of multi-purpose facilities, which will really serve those communities well. Well, it, they began uh, being used for Head Start purposes in 1991, and by then they had already been serving as dorms for faculty for Sequoia High School. So it goes back some period, even before the early 90s. We have gotten more than more than your normal use out of these buildings, and I think it's a, a tribute to our facility staff uh, and the staff of Head Start to keep them going because they're still functional buildings. They don't suit, though, modern uh, ways of educating students, uh, and uh, we just need to upgrade and, and bring ourselves into the modern times. So our age range for Head Start is six week old babies to preschool. <laughs> 